if we are to further our goal of strengthening the constitutional order and the rule of law in America, the Department of Justice cannot defend this overreach. In ordering this blanket exception, President Obama was nullifying part of a law that he simply disagreed with. If a president can claim sweeping discretion to suspend key federal laws, the entire legislative process becomes little more than a pretense. The circumvention of the legislative process not only undermines the authority of this branch, he's referring to the legislative branch, but destabilizes the tripartite system as a whole. All immigration policies should serve the interest of the people of the United States, lawful immigrant and native born alike. Congress should carefully and thoughtfully pursue the types of reforms that are right for the American people. Our nation is comprised of good and decent people who want their government's leaders to fulfill their promises and advance an immigration policy that serves the national interest. We are people of compassion and we are people of law. But there is nothing compassionate about the failure to enforce immigration laws. Enforcing the law saves lives, protects communities and taxpayers, and prevents human suffering. Failure to enforce the laws in the past has put our nation at risk of crime, violence, and terrorism. The compassionate thing to do is end the lawlessness, enforce our laws, and if Congress chooses to make changes to those laws, to do so through the process set forth by our founders in a way that advances the interest of the American people. 